Okay, wait, can you hold it? That'd be hilarious, wait. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali, if you're new here. Welcome to this week's video. You might be wondering, oh my god, Ali, you cut your hair. You are right. Look how short it is. You know me, my hair was so long for so long. But yeah, I love it. I literally just got it done today. I'm getting it colored pretty soon. Um... In today's video, we are getting out of a slump because last weekend I was doing dance so much and I kind of just need to get my life back together and I know I've probably done so many of these videos by now about like getting my life back together after doing things but I'm being so for real because it is very much needed a lot of the time. Like I wish you guys could just see my room right now. Like what is that? What is that? It's a mess. Like actually. But I'm starting today off with normally I would have bloom but I feel like my bloom might be going bad. I'm using Natural Beauty Pink Dragon Fruit. It's by Love Sweat Fitness, and this is what it says on the back. It says, it reduces wrinkles, support clear complexion, improves skin radius and hydration, and balance gut skin health. So this is like the Natural Beauty one, and it's so good. In my opinion, it's way better than Bloom. And also, look at my mom's like, cute little cup. I actually had this for a while, but I like, never use these, but you know, we're using it for the aesthetic today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're from Amazon, actually. But in today's video, I'm just going to be doing some things that will hopefully get my life back together again and cutting my hair was definitely something and I love it and it's such like a big change but I'm lucky so here for it and you know as I say hair holds memories so you know cutting off all those bad memories and leaving them behind and we are moving forward with life and I have a lot to focus on because I've been having school although spring break is coming up so soon <sighs> finally I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up it'll be spring break so happy freaking spring break stay tuned for my next vlog because I'll be vlogging on my spring break even though I'm not even like going anywhere but it's okay you guys will come with me for all the spring break so it'd be like a little week in my life so stay tuned for that I decided to get ready this morning because this is a day that I had to go to school so I wanted to feel a little bit presentable um but let's get started on my room I know you guys have already seen it so yeah it's bad so let's get started So I have finished cleaning my room. My mom and I are gonna go for a little bit of a walk. So here's my walk fit. Okay, so it's very comfy because it's pretty cold outside. So my zip up is from Brandy and my pants are actually Lululemon. And then I'm wearing Air Forces. And I feel like this walk would be good for me because since I've been so busy, I haven't really been able to like go to the gym or get out and get some fresh air because I've just been so busy with doing other things. So it's gonna be nice. And also I'm not really feeling the best right now because I'm like shaking. I don't know what happened. I had Jersey Mike's. I also had Starbucks and normally I get like the gluten-free bread, but I didn't get it this time. Um, I'm not like allergic. I just like doesn't do well in my stomach. So I just like, I just like get gluten-free bread. But I did it and I'm not feeling too hot right now. So hopefully this walk and some fresh air will help me. So let's go. Okay, wait, can you hold it? That'd be hilarious. Wait. Hey guys, so we're actually on a walk right now. <laughs> and we're getting the mail because you know, it's really nice upside. Oh, we're being stared at. Okay. So, we're here now. There's a lot of cars, but I'm excited because I'm pretty sure we got some cool things. So, I'll give a haul once I get back inside the house. Okay, so I'm back home and we're going to do a little unboxing because my mom says that apparently these are like new lip, are they lip oils? Uh, lip balms? Lip balm oil things. And you know me, I'm a sucker for lip balm. So let's see. All oh, these are so cute. Remedy Science. Oh, there's three of them to try. So first one for dry lips, they're all for dry lips, I think. So we have this one, so cute, all day. Oh, they're all the same one. So let's try it out. Oh, whoa. 
kind of thin. Oh, I like it. Yo, oh, put a lot on. Same thing. Dr. Main and Shaw. Is that how you say it? Dr. Main and Shaw. Being aesthetic. It feels so shiny. Me? It is a little bit later now. I munched on my talkies. I wanted to also give you guys kind of like a little bit of a life update to fill you guys in on what's been happening recently. So there was a little bit, there was a little chunk in my life that I was struggling mentally because I was always stressed out. My anxiety was through the roof. I couldn't focus. I wasn't doing that good in school. Well, I'm normally a straight A student, but for me, I wasn't doing the best that I knew that I could have reached to in school. And that was also stressing me out. I had a lot of dance stuff and just a lot of things on my plate but i feel like recently i have been so much better about finding balance and i've talked about this in my self-care video i'm pretty sure so go watch that if you see me go more in deeply to this subject and i really did find a balance to help me everybody has their times everybody goes through rough patches that's part of life i was just going through a pretty rough patch for a second there but i'm rolling back up that mountain i've also wanted to share with you guys some tips on what i do to keep myself organized and motivated and all that jazz so first thing i do is i make a to-do list i also use notion which i use it on my phone and on my computer i have everything planned out for what i want to do my mom and i also have a shared google calendar that we always put things so i know what she's doing she knows what i'm doing like so there's never really any confusion with plans or anything i also in my phone i have this widget right here that i use and it's just like when you tap on it it brings you so i I can just make the do's that I need to get done and I will see it immediately when I open my phone. For me, that works better than making an actual to-do list like on paper because I will never see that. But for school, I have a Google Doc that I keep pinned on the corner of my screen and I have all my classes written down. Anytime I have an assignment or anything like that, I just type it down real quick because if I don't, then I'm gonna forget about it most likely. Yeah, I also sometimes write when it's due, but sometimes it'll just be due to the next class. And since I have block schedule, like I always have at least one day to complete the assignment so that's like a nice thing i've also been trying to get more sleep recently again in that rough patch and i still kind of let him like this every other night but i'm trying to go to bed earlier but there were times where i was going to bed super duper late and then having to wake up super duper early for school but i feel like to-do lists for me really 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 help especially the one like in my phone now some things that i want to start implementing more into my routine to help me stay more motivated is i want to journal more i even have i bought the journal at the very beginning of the year, you know, I was doing pretty good on it and I haven't journaled in a hot sec. I actually really do want to get back into that. So we're going to do that tonight. I also really need to start drinking more waters because I also never bring water to school. So I always end up stealing other people's water. So sorry if I'm most likely stealing your water or a sip of water. I don't bring a backpack to school. So it's kind of like a lot to like carry as Stanley, but that's very first world problems. I needed to start drinking more water because I barely had any water today, like at all and that's so bad it's so bad also i've been reading this book i try to do it every night but i haven't i've again i've been slacking a little bit it is 101 essays that'll change the way you think by brianna west west i don't know how to pronounce her last name all of these essays which essays like uh two pages long and i'm not a big reader i've tried to get into reading so many times but i just basically cannot this book i like it because basically like one chapter is like only like two pages and i just try to read one every night i'm not gonna lie though some of the stuff in here is kind of hard to comprehend for me that's also another reason why i don't like to read that much because i have a really hard time comprehending things you know gotta live with it but it's a bunch of just like advice on life and again with also atomic habits which i have um i haven't really read but i've also heard that book is super like changing the way you think and stuff but that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching i'm so sorry that this video is kind of on the shorter side but stay tuned for next week's vlog because next week's vlog will probably be way longer because it will be a whole week and if you have stayed till the end of this video, comment the bean plant emoji. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. See you next week. Bye.